I checked this class because of the title. It's called Black Men, Images and Races in Literature and Culture. Dr. Knight will provide context for the stereotypes that we're studying. We do a reading of the image and then we interpret it and we identify the problems with the stereotype. The Sambo figure, the minstrel figure, the coon, the brute, and the absent father. It's easy to look at an image and have one kind of perspective on it. And this was a way to create this new way of looking at it, especially the way like Dr. Knight was teaching us. She showed the LeBron James image. If you first look at that image, you're not gonna really be like, oh, that's a negative thing, but then all of a sudden it's next to this ape and this brute like holding this woman with this club in his hand. It's like, wait a second, there's something violent about that. Once you're aware that there exists a stereotype, you start recognizing it everywhere. Especially through things like the media, you see these sensationalized images of the black community. When you see people not realizing that what they are talking about is stereotypical and not real, we have like a certain responsibility to raise awareness. Being able to show what we've learned in the context of historical stereotypes and how they are still around in today's media. We are very happy that so many people actually came and are interested in our project. I was very excited about my topic when I chose it and I can tell that I'm still very excited about it when I talk to people. I try to be more critical when I see a movie, a TV show, think through it and say, is this problematic or not? In learning about how these stereotypes have typically been associated with the black community, we're coming to understand not just how they're projected, but why they're projected. This is important that there's people whose lives are being affected because they're stereotyping. It is very important to be aware that the stereotypes still exist. You may not necessarily agree with it, but when you're able to understand it and appreciate it, you're able to develop and synthesize new ways of thinking. By changing the way that black men are perceived, we'll be able to change the image of them altogether into a more positive outlook.